Welcome to this three-minute trend talk for Wednesday, February 1st, 2023. I'm Mark Scheffler, CEO and founder of Appleton Group. On the first two episodes of my podcast of the new year of 2023, I laid out both an optimistic case and a pessimistic case for the bulls, one for the bears, and how it's time to lay out how we think investors should approach the coming year with both scenarios in mind. Because here's the important bit that needs to be said. It is very possible that both my optimistic and pessimistic scenarios could unfold one after another, most likely first the bullish, the optimistic scenario in 2023, followed by the bearish or pessimistic scenario after that. The case for recovery can certainly create an environment that returns the markets to pre-2022 highs, at least temporarily, and that's something that we of course want to participate in as much as possible. But the long-term structural issues are real, and they must be addressed, which won't be easy. They're the long-term cost for the extraordinary but artificial growth that the globe has experienced over the past two generations, and that'll require the kind of courage and foresight that can sometimes be in short supply and hasn't really been asked of any of us in our lifetimes. And that's exactly why investors need flexible strategies more than ever, despite 2022 not being all that great for most strategies, including ours. I'm convinced that both of the scenarios I've laid out are equally possible, and I'm convinced that inflexible buy-and-hold strategies for either fixed income or equities or real estate or anything else you can invest in are fraught with the potential for a really bad outcome. I'm as optimistic as ever on the value of being flexible, and I'm as optimistic that it remains the best course for investors at or nearing retirement, for nonprofit endowments, and for participants in most 401k and other employer-sponsored retirement plans. It's been my experience over the past 25 years in this industry that the true cost of buy-and-hold strategies is just too great to justify their exclusive continued use. While the amount of capital they create has been significant, the amount of fresh debt that must be created to keep them running outweighs the long-term benefits. We'll hear a lot about this in the coming months, and it's definitely worth a closer look. By the time the world accepts that buy-and-hold strategies are actually getting more and more expensive and that a paradigm shift in how we grow our economy is necessary, I'm afraid it might be too late. So at Apple Group, we soldier on, convinced that we're on the right path, that investing with flexibility will be rewarded in the future as it has in the past, and that the world will unfold in a positive way, eventually. On behalf of the advisors and staff of Appleton Group, we wish you a very happy start to the new year and pledge our best efforts to help you, our valued clients and friends, spend as much time as possible on the right side of the market.